café anyway la 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 Mike's Daily Podcast There's a cat on my lap and it's Mike Matthews that makes me laugh It's FF episode 2532 here at Mike's Daily Podcast Cafe anyway somewhere in Podcastro Valley That's where we are My name's not Sally But you might be named Mark I don't know I get sometimes called Mark or Matt Because of Mike Matthews That's used for my name sometimes 2532 Mike's Daily Podcast is the FF episode 2532. I tried to bring a podcast to you this week, got slightly Mike's delayed, daily way laid podcast. I think I had to yeah. go take a couple nights off. Let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What a day rocking this week with you. These days are ours. Happy days, yours and mine. So, what's been what's been going on since we've been uh, last speaking, you and I? Let's see. Well, we got, we got a lot of rain. Rained a lot. I listened to a podcast with David Spade and Dana Carvey. That's quite popular. And the joke was they both have names that start with D. They both look like each other. Dana Carvey got popular first. David Spade had his own dry, dry sense of sarcasm that worked great. And then what catapulted him, really catapulted him, was being in the movie. The not the bad sheep one, the other one, black black sheep. The the one he did with the, the oh gosh they were just talking about it on the podcast uh, their podcast not mine anyway cafe anyway oh the stories about Chris Farley and here's today's podcast picture he was quite a guy everything very over the top is what he was that's what it, life is like that when. You are on, on over the top. People laugh at you. It's so great when people laugh. <sighs> the podcast picture today is going to be from something that happened yesterday. I took a lovely day off. It was very nice. Saw some horses. One of them attacked my lovely lady friend. <laughs> oh, the late great Basil the Boxer. Actually... Basil knew both these horses. These horses are 22 and 23 years old. Horses live a little bit longer, a little bit longer than dogs. I'm sorry, Basil. But yeah, saw that yesterday. That was interesting. Okay. I know. I know it's the elephant in the room. And we got an elephant in the room here at Cafe anyway. It's hard to move around. But that is... Was it Was it called Step Brothers What was the movie called Oh this is Very um, it's, uh, um, it's Tommy Boy Gosh I could not think Tommy I kept thinking of the ninja one And all the other things he did Like he, he shows up in Wayne's World for a little bit Black Sheep was the other but, You know I don't think I've ever seen Black Sheep Airheads. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> uh, but it is totally... You know, so Tommy Boy came out after Airheads. It's almost like... Ah, they were starting to get their act together. And come up with some movies with some heart. Um, but yeah, there was... It, it, then There was a lot of heart. That's what the one thing they were talking about. David Spade, Rob Lowe... And Dana Carvey is how much heart there is in Tommy Boy. These little scenes that apparently even famous celebrities today see it and they're like, oh, Jonah Hill. He, he says that scene of Chris Farley and the sailboat and the boat won't move. It's just sitting there. And he's, he's asking God for some wind. 
Ah, uh, well, anyway, cafe anyway. Here's the really craziness. So Marjorie Taylor Greene had a mafia-themed nickname for the GOP. She is a representative from the fine state of Georgia, and she referred to the various GOP factions uh, in their, their weekly meeting to discuss strategy when Republicans, their strategy for taking control of the House of Representatives... She referred to the factions as the five families. And she said on Steve Bannon's big show, War Room, it just, I, I, I think, is everybody listening or watching that show? I remember it started off as a radio show that was being carried on a couple of talk stations, conservative talk stations. But she said on that show, the five families, you know the reference, the five families are parts of our conference, all the different parts. We are coming together and having discussions on how we're going to govern in the majority. And it's literally my favorite meeting of the week. Uh, She didn't explain her five families reference, but it was more likely an allusion to the mob. Steve Bannon appeared to suggest it wasn't the best nickname. (laughs) I hope for those meetings to, I hope that those meetings turn out better than the five family meetings in The Godfather, he said. They went to war. And then Twitter went crazy. I don't get this whole I understand okay, the Twitter files coming out and Twitter did some stuff that hey, you know what? It is basically every reason conservatives have thought not to be on Twitter. They they were right Twitter has been Censoring people Blocking people Blocking certain subjects That they had The capacity to Post on As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth Anyway But what I did Never understand And conservatives always They never Freaking Get this Oh, was that a cuss word? Frickin'. And that's in reference to people that are named Fricky. Like the late, great Janie Fricky. Country singer. Oh, wait. Is she still alive? I think she is. The point is... Now we're talking about Janie Fricky. Uh, she, sang, she was country singer. And apparently... She is Has had a long I, I think she's still alive Wow Janie Fricky. She was big in the 80s for a while Um, And she is 74 Good job Janie Fricky. What I don't get though Is that Twitter Is a privately owned company Same with Facebook, same with Google, same with any of these companies, they have the prerogative to censor. And I hate that whiny, like, oh, hey, they're censoring. Uh. Okay, then create your own network. If you don't like the fact that CNN's not, is, is, is spinning things in a more left leaning direction, watch Fox. It's, it just makes no sense why the, the but hey. I, I can't When people whine about that I'm thinking please You know You're spending all this time Talking about this You could be talking about something else Like Janie Fricky's Amazing career in music And let's see The biggest song Oh it doesn't have a list of her d- uh, Discography What are you doing tonight? Please help me I'm falling down Oh down to my last broken heart Is that the one I It ain't easy being easy That's the one I remember It ain't easy being easy No da, 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 da. That's the main one I remember Okay but she's I guess had a bunch of songs Janie Fricky Alright back to this show That's 
groundbreaking and fantastic. The other thing that maybe you heard about is that DeSantis is starting to get a bit of a lead over Trump. And I pulled this from a conservative news mail letter. USA Today by two to one. They're not the conservative one, but the, the this conservative newsletter pulls together all these different different news sources. By two to one, GOP and GOP leaning voters now say they want Trump's policies, but a different standard bearer to carry them. 31% want the former president to run, but 61% twice that prefer some other Republican nominee who would continue the policies Trump has pursued. They have a name in mind, two thirds of Republicans, two thirds, and those inclined to vote Republican want Governor Ron DeSantis from Florida to run for president by double digits. 56% to 33% they prefer DeSantis over Trump. Uh, let's see. Byron York said DeSantis up, Trump down. Two thirds of Americans don't want either Trump or Biden in 24. Majority in GOP wants Trump policies, but with a different candidate. DeSantis over Biden in matchup. Fascinating. Oh, and you heard that. Elon Musk is refusing to pay the rent at Twitter. And that that rent is probably so crazy high. I, how does that company even make money? I don't know anybody on Twitter. Okay, the only people I know on Twitter are people that are also doing podcasts. But the average person, they have no idea, no, no, no reason whatsoever to even want to be on it. And California's greenhouse gas emissions fell 8.7%. That sounds like a lot. Not a huge amount, but that's in 2020, this happened. Even during the pandemic was going on and uh, travel restrictions. Well, that would make sense. I noticed certainly when I would drive to work, I'd be the only one driving to work. But Mike, you weren't supposed to drive to work. Well, working in radio, you're allowed to go around that particular policy because you're offering a a service to the community when you run a radio station because they can take over your radio station and bring out emergency alerts for the public. While the significant drop in emissions has helped the state make progress toward its 2030 climate targets, it masks a rise in pollution from in-state power generation. Stubbornly slow renewable energy growth threatens California's transition to carbon neutrality. A drop in emissions from the transportation sector for the third consecutive year could signal a breakthrough in the state's largest source of climate pollution. If pandemic era shifts toward hybrid work remain and electric vehicle adoption continues to rise. That's the finding of the 14th annual California Green Innovation Index. This is by the nonpartisan nonprofit Next 10 and prepared by Beacon Economics. Eco- Economics. The report analyze the reports analyze their analysis of the latest available emissions data found that while transportation sector, commercial sector, and industrial sector emissions dropped in 2020, emissions from in-state electricity and agriculture increased. It also analyzed the economic and jobs returns on investment from four of California's signature climate and clean energy programs and found a cumulative 7 point or 2.76% billion dollar investment in these programs generated a 5.35 billion dollar economic output and created 8,521 jobs while reducing greenhouse gas emissions according to Next 10 and Beacon Economics okay outside a cafe anyway somewhere in Podcaster Valley the last place on earth look who's here hi Mark it's Benito the Moon 
Audio Queen. How y'all doing? It's a disgruntled field player. Tell you what. What? I think y'all just need to get out of California because everybody's all backwards and whatnot around here because I'm the disgruntled fiddle player. Tell you what. What? Nothing. Just basically that. I was repeating myself. Okay. And look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make the delicious root beer. Have some in there. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Oh, always so delicious. Mm. I drank it all the way down to the end. Drink it right now, can't you? I did. It's. I drank it to the end. The last podcast was called vehemently, Be- vehemently, because I have trouble saying that, and had a very nice Christmas house on it that you can find in Podcastro Valley. But now, what we're going to find is this wonderful show, part of the show that is called the the Mike Matthews. Uh, no wait It's called Going Back With Matt Views Is that it? Right We'll call it that Going Back With Matt Views Back in time To when yours truly did A show On the country radio station Called k In Ventura And if you ever see the movie Nope That's Agua Dulce That's not Ventura But our signal went out there And I would get calls from cowboys out there all the time Living on ranches and having the great life But here Is a little bit From 20 years ago When I was doing this uh... Right now to the top eight today And a visit to the 9 o'clock preview room It's the k Santa Fe Cafe That's right, this k Santa Fe Actually, It's a little after 10.30, that means I'm Phyllis's Number two Starting over was the name of the um, You Get the Fries by Default Tubby. Oh, good. I have Reba's autograph. Oh, my gosh. Can <laughs> I see it sometime? Oh, yeah. I'll show it to you. Miller Lite. Miller Tubby. That's not easy to get. 100.7 KHAY and George Strait. We heard just ahead of that Sarah Evans with I Keep Looking. Travis Trick coming up. Dixie Chicks. Hattie Loveless. Tracy Bird is next. Get the latest concert updates on the web at KHAY.com. Oh, you're finally here, John Deere, the engineer. Oh, Matt. What seems to be the problem? Well, for one thing, it is hotter than crazy. It's hot as hot in here. And... Can you fix the air conditioning? Yeah, man, I can fix it. I can cool it down for you right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing with that hose? Uh, I'm wet now, but much cooler. Thank you. You're a genius. You're a ge- Come back here. I want to hug you, John Deere Engineer. Oh, my gosh. You know, sir, make sure to go out on a date this Labor Day weekend. Oh, I will. <laughs> Good. Ah. Labor Day honors the hard workers of Ventura County and America. If you raise a toast this holiday, don't drink and drive. Have a designated driver. A message from Team Transit Mix, Ventura County's fastest growing provider of ready mix concrete. This weekend. What? I wonder if they're still in business. I thought it was funny that that one gal said that I have Reba McIntyre's <laughs> signature. I have her autograph. That's fantastic because, yes, not always easy to get certain country stars a little bit easier to get their signatures, get their autographs. But now it is time for the segment, the Mike Matthews New Tunes Feud. I'm going to play you two songs. You tell me which one you like better. And they're going to fight each other with you telling me which one you like better. Okay. Okay. Here is the first song. This is called Gone to Color. Or that's the name of the band. Gone to Color. Jesse Stein is in this band. And this song is called The Six The 606. Here we go. There you go. Gone to Color with Jesse Stein. And it's, uh, it's the rock electronic duo. Tyler Bradley Walker and Matt Heim. 
They met at the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music in 2004 and 2010, began collaborating while pursuing doctorates in music composition. And then they work with this uh, Jesse person, but they don't explain why. Okay, fine, fine. I'm just trying to play you two songs. So now I've brought you, I'm going to bring you the second song. And this is by the band called Pink Sky. When Ryan and Angelica Hay first formed Pink Sky, they were trying they were just trying to escape the orbit of their traumas neither one of them thought that at the tra- tail of their 20s the tail end of their 20s they'd only just begin to make music together but sometimes life falls apart before it's put back together back to back tragedies a near death car accident involving a speeding semi truck a devastating and complicated pregnancy loss hoping to find a new way to connect Ryan bought Angelica a drum machine and encouraged her to find her creativity. She started adding beats and electronics to Ryan's recent piano music and they began healing each other by sharing their gifts. Is what it says here. All right. So I'm going to... This is a band called Pink Sky. And this is a very... The Spanish word for sky, by the way, is cielo. I found that. And this is called Falling Falling. All right, that's all I can play, or I'll get dinged by YouTube. So, which one do you like better, Gone to Color or? Pink Sky. Call me 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is a Mike Matthews daily as in what this podcast tries to be. Sometimes gets interrupted. You know how that is. Call now. 336-MM-DAILY. And with more ways to reach me, here's A-Frame taking us out. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. All right, we're in the kitchen. Okay, the cafe anyway for Mike's Daily Podcast. This is a special added bonus. And who are you? Who, who are you? Roxy. You're Roxy? No, you're not. That's the name of the cat. You're 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 the you're uh, my lovely lady friend, not the disgruntled fiddle player. <laughs> and we have another special guest here today. We have a a new microphone. You got this nice little my. It's beautiful. This is the first time we're using it. You gotta get closer though, to and and say what what uh, what this is exactly. This is a, tell them what they've won. Tell them what they've won. Art link letter or whoever that guy is. <laughs> it's was. this beautiful teal color and it's like really sturdy and robust. And the cat's walking away with all the packaging. Yes, he's excited about the packaging. We're excited about the actual mic. And it's got all these really neat features. It's just cool looking. And you got it for me for a Christmas present. And we couldn't wait to open it. Yes. Aww. We could not delay. We're the kids that would eat the marshmallow. <laughs> we would not wait. The marshmallow. There's like this experiment. I don't know if it's a marshmallow or cookies, crackers. I think it's actually cookies. The, it, and it's supposed to kind of test delay of gratification. And it was found that kids who are able to wait... Uh-huh. A little bit before they they ate the cookie. Later on in life, they they also had um, just were th- there was a there was a correlation between delay of gratification and being more successful in different areas of life. Oh, Later on, who knows what's going on there? But that's I'm one of the kids that probably would not wait yes. and would eat the cookie right away. This is our cookie, love. Thank you so much. I'll rewrap it. Do I? <laughs> here, look at the settings on the back. Is it the one? Is it on this one, the one that looks like the number eight? 
The infinity? Infinity, yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Then that's how we can do these shows. We talk in between the thing. What? What? So there we go. This feels like I'm eating ice cream. It's so cool. It's a, it's a big microphone. It is. That you can't eat. No. It would not taste good. Or like a giant pill. Yeah. That it's just like a pill, like a pink song. Yes. But awesome. Not well, a jagged little pill. No, that'd be Alanis. Well, thank you so much for... Oh, look at the cute pictures you got from your yes. cousin. Oh, that's, wow, that's a fancy looking, yeah. sh- fancy schmancy family photo newsletter right? thing. Right? Very nice. Okay, uh, is that good enough? And I'll put this at the end of the podcast. You, you, were you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm satisfied <laughs> with this. We'll have to do another podcast soon. Uh, thank you again for listening to here. I'm going to switch now. Is this the microphone switch button or is this? Uh, Gain. What's this one? That is the one with all the little symbols. Oh, okay. Here. I'm doing something you should never do. There. Now I'm talking right into the microphone. This is One Direction. One Direct. Not like the band. band. Not the boy band. See, now we can't hear you anymore because you're over. Now, this this is the other version of... Wait, now say something. The boy band? See, now they can't really hear you because you're, you're on the other side. There's a different microphone. The boy band that has got the Harry Styles that's really popular these days. So thank you for uh, being on Mike's Daily Podcast with this new device that you gave me. Thank you. You're what welcome, a my love. wonderful gift. I didn't say the product name because they didn't give it to us for free. <laughs> Lovely lady friend. Talk to Santa and got it for us. It's so they don't deserve any free publicity, but it, it's cool. We'll get used to it and um, do a podcast, and you can hear the past podcast where. Here, wait, let me switch it back over so you can see the name of the website. Mike's Daily Podcast dot com.